In this video, you will learn how to configure the VMX Locator feature for an extension. The VMX Locator feature provides a mini IVR for each voicemail that is enabled for an extension. First, we go to the PBX tab. From the Extensions page, select an existing extension. Go down to the VMX Locator section. The feature is disabled by default and I cannot enable the feature until I enable the voicemail first. So we have to first enable voicemail. Now I can enable VMX Locator. In the Use When field, you can choose when to apply the VMX Locator feature. When the user is unavailable or busy or both. You must select at least one of the boxes here for the feature to work. Under voicemail instructions, if you uncheck this box, the caller will simply hear a beep after the personal voicemail greeting. We will keep it checked. In the press zero field, it is disabled by default. When a caller presses zero, the call will be sent to the system-wide operator number. Note that the system-wide operator number is not configured here. It is configured under the voicemail settings page. Also, note that you do not need to enable the VMX locator feature for the system-wide dial zero operator feature to work. If you want to override the system dial zero operator number for this extension, then uncheck the box go to operator. Now you can enter a different number here for dial zero. We will keep it checked. The next two fields, press 1 and press 2, you can enter any valid destination in these fields. So when the user presses 1 or 2, the call will be routed to the destination entered here. It is important that you remind users to record their personal greetings with instructions to match the options configured here. Personal greetings for both unavailable and busy must be recorded for this feature to work. Now we click on the Submit button to save the changes. And apply. There is a small interaction between the VMX Locator feature and the Follow Me feature. We will click on the Add Follow Me Settings link now. The details of the Follow Me feature will be discussed in a separate tutorial. For the purpose of this video to show the interaction between the two features, we just add a second destination in the Follow Me list. We also have to configure the destination if there's no answer. Submit the changes and apply. Now we click on the Edit Extension link to return to the extension. Go down to the VMX Locator section. In the Press 1 field, you will now see a new box, Sent to Follow Me. If you select this box, the field is disabled. A caller pressing 1 will be sent to the Follow Me list. When using this option, make sure the user has the Follow Me list configured properly. This completes our tutorial on the VMX Locator feature.